rolling. I'll leave, this, I'll leave this one. Rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Chocolate starfish hot dog flavored water. That's the 90s. Are they from the 90s? They could be from the 90s. They were from early 2000s, maybe. Late they're, 90s. They were that weird transition period. Yeah. But anyways. Make that big boss less special. It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another couch conversation, as they say in France. Conversation. Conversation. Uh, today, we're talking about games that you should go back to because of a DLC update, or whether it's paid or free. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So basically, we're so just going to be drumming around the idea of games that you kind of maybe got bored of, or, or weren't good and got better. Or, yeah, or they sucked a little bit, and that have since either tweaked something to make them worth your while or uh, have added, added enough content to make them worth a second look because mm -hmm. we play games very differently I uh, I usually buy it complete it and sell it mm -hmm. uh, Keegan does not so so for Keegan this is a bigger deal when it comes to like mm -hmm. things that keep you interested so yeah. um, you mentioned one uh, recently which you, you had stopped playing for a long time mm -hmm. Um, and you've started playing up a little bit again, and I mm -hmm. think a few of our stream team friends have, have joined you in that, mm -hmm. and that is The Division. That is. Uh, the Division, when it launched, was not a bad game. No. Um, it had issues. It still has some of those issues, uh, getting stuck on things, whatever it may be. But the problem I had with The Division is you hit level cap, we hit, we did all the things, the incursions happened. Once that was done, we were just grinding the whole time of just getting new gear, yeah. and that's where the game gets boring, because it's like, why am I grinding? Like, they promised this DLC stuff, and like, cool, but... What's the point in this? There wasn't, and like the dark zone was cool and all, but I don't think it was enough to hold your attention and on I, a daily basis. And I don't like PvP as much as PvE. I right. prefer PvE. Uh, so they recently, recently, I mean they they said what was coming, but they recently released the first part of the season pass, the first paid DLC, which kind of sucks that it's paid, but it adds enough that I think it's worth it. How much is that? The season pass was thirty. The 40. standalone. I don't know. I want to say it's probably fifteen then. Usually. Yeah, I have no idea what how much it is, but I got it, and I locked it, and it was cool. But anyways, the, the Underground is the first DLC, and what's been really cool about it is two things. One, they added a lot of shit. You know what games add a lot when the first thing we booted up after the update is it gives you the giant patch notes with, like, seven different, like, not right. just lines, but seven different columns of, like, this is what was added while you were gone, uh, which is overwhelming at first, but... They added, basically what the underground is, if you don't know, is in your base of operations, if you played Division at all, the base of operations is your home home base. We call it the Boo on the stream, because it's B-O-O. And they now added, like, a basement to it that you can go to and make more PvE missions where you can get better gear, better drops, and they added a bunch of new gear. So the overwhelming part to me when I first got back in was not doing the new missions, it was, shit, all my Tactician's Authority gear is rank 192, and now I'm getting 240 drops for this new gear set that I don't know anything about. Right. And I wanted, I don't know how many new ones there are, so going through and kind of figuring Did out. Did you feel like you yeah. were left behind a little bit? Like it was no. too much of a quick jump? Or? No, the, the weirdest part, I think, to me was I probably would have been more frustrated if I had stayed on the division and grinded. Because, right. reason saying is my gear score when I logged back in was 190. And we've played this now roughly, we played it, played it three nights. So roughly about four hours a night, three hours a night, so few hours into it. I mean, I played the game in total over eight days in right. game time. Uh, but when we got back in, I feel like my gear score rocketed really quickly because I got 240s and all this kind of stuff. And versus if I'd sat there and grinded, because the old, the old gear score, the highest you'd get was a 204. Mm. And if I'd had 204s and grinded forever to get those, I would have been super pissed when I do this new stuff. And it's like, oh, here's this awesome piece of gear. Right. It may not fit what your build is, so my build is kind of changing because of that. I hope they update the like tac tactician's authority where I can get, which is I do a lot of skill based in that game. So I'm hoping they update that so I can play with that gear set because I love that gear set. But I don't feel like I was left behind. I feel like actually I'm, I made the right move to stop playing and getting back in. It's really weird though going from that game from GTA because the jump button, two different buttons, uh, square in GTA, it's circle in the division. Gotcha. So going between games is always really fun. But I, I, the underground is really cool. They added a bunch of new PVE boss fights. Do you uh, know roughly how many hours we're talking here? It's I infinite. I have not touched it yet. It's, so inf I'm... it's theoretically infinite. Everything is procedurally generated. All the missions mm. down there, the areas. So basically what it is, is 
from what I've played, I've not made it up to the higher ranks, but there's a couple things that added. They added high value targets, which you have to collect intel to be able to unlock certain levels of high value targets, and you find them throughout the city. And then the underground itself, you have a mission set up to help somebody or do something. Right. I know that's very generic, but that's what it is. And what's really cool that I found very, very interesting is, as somebody who just got back into the game, I didn't want to play it on hard, I didn't want to play it on challenging, because I remember I, got my butt, I used to get my butt kicked on it. I remember it well. And now they have it where like we can play on normal, but you have these perks as you go along, as you level up in the underground. It's kind of like Dark Zone, where you have your own leveling in underground. Right. And you level up, and you can get these different, I guess they're not perks, because they take away stuff, but it's where it makes it more challenging, but you get more experience and potentially better loot from it. Mm. So the first one I got, you get at level 5, was taking away your mini-map. Which sounds really simple, but it adds so much to getting into the game. Like me, David, and Wheezy were playing, or no, me, David, and Cody were playing the other day. And the communication of like where to go is more important, because you can't see the you alleys. You to can't see... a better team. Yes. Mm. Uh, it's, it, it's really fun. I mean, it's the same gameplay over and over, but... I feel like I've gotten my money's worth. Again, I bought season pass. If every single season pass DLC is gonna be like this, I, I'll be happy. So decent, decent DLC drop. There. Yes. So I highly recommend going back to it. Okay. So division, mm. go back to the division and check it out if you haven't already. If you have the season pass, then you should already be there. If not, then the fifteen bucks might be worth your effort to get that. It's, um, it's pretty good. I wanted to talk very briefly about ESO, um, better known as Elder Scrolls Online. The game, that, the game is, that is always evolving. It's always evolving. Um, evolving but they've Scrolls recently Online. dropped, uh, you know, a few bits and pieces here and there. Uh, my favorite of which was the Dark Brotherhood mm -hmm. uh, finally got added, but they have done even more since they then. Added, they added two new dungeons, um, yeah. new gear sets, a uh, couple other It's continually evolving, so if you are paying for that $13 a month fee, then awesome, you are getting your, your money's worth, I, I like to think. Um, but also, you know, since the launch, the, the thing about ESO is that it had an interesting ride. It had the PC launch, which was sort of a buggy mess and everyone hated it. Mm -hmm. And then over, let's say, the period of about a year or so before it got to the console launch, they managed to actually patch and fix all the problems that kind of were, were happening for those early players mm -hmm. to the point where it was very polished by the time that it came to PS4. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they released, um, you know, different DLCs along the way. They've been... Or Pretty frequent uh, with it. Yeah. Imperial City. You got the Thieves Guild, you got Brotherhood. So Gold, Co Gold Coast uh, is Brotherhood yeah. one. So yeah. there's uh there's been a decent whack of stuff that has been kind of added there, not to mention the fact that just those games in general take uh, a lot of time to really truly perfect and get the most out of them. Like I recently started to go on kind of a, a, a crafting tip and have been putting all of my skill sets into That's crafting so that I can character. get more into that because I never really bothered with it when I first played it's, it through. It's, it's really crazy because like I've been, I mean I started, I, I bought it when it came out. I stopped playing because I was like, I don't like this, but I'm now playing with some friends and I have a character that I built it was for the streams. We play. We still play them on streams uh, every so often. And now that those D like when the Dark Brotherhood DLC, I feel like it fundamentally fundamentally changed the game. Mm -hmm. That the character I had, why yes, I could do the Dark Brotherhood, was not made for that. So you can go back and what David did. We all made uh, new characters because Weezy got the game, so we're gonna start from scratch with that. Is we made characters that incorporated the DLCs. Right. Which again, if you have a character already made, you can do it. But going, if you want to make a sneaky character, you can go in beforehand knowing, hey, this is going to be a thief, this is going to be a sneaky there's character. There's going to be options. He, yeah, that's what, he's gonna, that's what he's going to do. I just like the fact that it brought in cold-blooded uh, murder. Oh, I did that every so you can I, got, I got an achievement anyone. the other day for murdering yeah. 100 innocent people. <clears throat> yeah, so you can... Um, I'm a sick It got interesting, bastard. let's just say. And, you know, we, we still have a lot of fun playing that on Sundays and things, mm -hmm. but... Um, but ESO, uh, if you have been out for a while, now's a good time to jump back in, check out those DLCs, mm -hmm. and kind of see what you make of them. Uh, Dark Brotherhood would be my first the suggestion to you, but um, really Thieves any Guild of them. as well, if you had, want to be Thieves. Yeah, Thieves, Thieves Guild's kind of fun too. Yeah. Um, so what else do you think? The, the, the last one I want to talk about is uh, GTA. Okay. The reason being is GTA tends to release updates pretty much every one to two months now for GTA Online. I'm not talking there's never... I don't think there's ever going to be a story G, story DLC for GTA. But these last two updates... Yeah, last two updates for GTA have been the biggest ones yet. Uh, my favorite one is called Cunning Stunts, which is... I'm a racing fan, as you know. Mm -hmm. So they added a whole new stunt system with jumps, tubes, crazy-ass things you can build and 
I've been playing a lot of those on stream and playing them in my free time because that's what I want to do. I love the racing part of the game. And it's it to me is the best DLC they could have done. Uh, they also did the CEO stuff. The I can't remember, I think it's Further Adventures of Finance and Felonies, where you can become a boss. Quickest way to make money. It's a million dollars, about a million and a half to get everything you need uh, to become a CEO. But it's we make we make easily a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars a night when we play for a few hours, hmm. which is nice because short cards is not something I want to buy. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that was all coming after, of course, the much delayed heists uh, mm -hmm. that were added. So if you play. if you picked up the game uh, when they re released it for PS4 due to the first person, um, you know, uh, availability and, and that whole thing, then there are now more reasons for you to dig back in. Me personally, not such a fan of the cunning stunts and things like that. I mean, it's cool, but that's not why I play GTA. But yeah. for some of you, that is, and uh, and it's definitely worth a second look. So, yeah. what, yeah. Do you, what do you think? What do you guys want? What what game should do you recommend we go back what to? What should we or, go and check out again? Because of an update. Yeah. So let us know down below. Um, maybe we will check it out again. I mean, who knows? There might be something we're completely missing. They're like, oh yeah, that. I mean, Destiny's the big one. I'd like to go we back into about. Fallout at some point and take a look because that DLC has been yes. a lot of that. Like yep. the whole the contraptions uh, is yeah the, cool. the what do you call it the theme park. Well, yeah, uh, Nuka, Nuka World. Nuka World. But anyways, guys, let us know down below what you guys think, which game we should go back, potentially we or you, other people down there, should go back and play. And as always, guys, welcome, welcome to, to the, the second, second level. level. Bye. Bye. Wait for a second. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Uh, people need to subscribe to us. They sure do. Okay, again. We have really good, good, my mouth is open, content. Yeah. 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 Subscribe, become another part of the Level 2 Legion. Yep. Mm-hmm. Give me a kiss. <laughs> ah! I need a note!